Hi and welcome to another one of my online painting lessons. For this lesson, I'm using a 10 by 30 inch canvas, so very wide canvas today. And I've toned it with raw umber, just some raw umber and water. Um, we're doing an oil painting today. Um, so I've, I've toned this with raw umber uh, and acrylic and a little bit of water. Uh, if you don't have raw umber and acrylic, what you can do is just tone this with, take a little bit of odorless mineral spirits and some raw umber and tone your canvas and then let that dry before starting. Um, but we want to start out with a toned canvas today. We're going to be painting a, a winter sunset and I'm going to be using a filbert brush to start out with. I just want to go over some of the colors and mediums that I'm going to be using. I've got titanium white radiant turquoise. So any turquoise color would be great. Uh, cerulean blue, uh, alizarin crimson, cadmium orange, and radiant lemon. So a cool yellow is what we're looking for uh, with that radiant lemon. For mediums, I'm going to be using uh, this uh, it's Chelsea Classic, Classical Studio uh, Lean Medium. This is a less toxic medium, um, and this will help us do fat over lean. I've got the fat version. You always start out with a lean medium, which is basically less oil and more um, either mineral spirits or um, uh, anything that's a little bit faster drying. And then the fat medium is more oil. So you could use linseed oil. Um, this one, the lean medium, is a mixture of linseed oil um, and lavender spike oil essence. It actually smells really good. It smells like lavender. Um, so maybe it'll keep me calm during the painting. So I've got it in a little cup here. Don't need a whole lot. I'm just going to use a little bit to uh, kind of thin down the paint. To start with, what I want to do is just pick out where my sun's going to be. And I'm going to start with kind of the orange yellow colors. So first thing I want to do, I'm going to take a little bit of that medium. I'm going to grab some of my cad orange and then a little bit of that radiant lemon. You can see it makes a nice pale yellow similar to what we see in that reference photo. So again, just a little bit of medium. And what I want to do to start off with is just kind of pick out where that uh, the sun's going to be. I'm going to go a little bit more um, orange. I'm going to grab just a little bit of alizarin as well. And as I move across here, what I'm doing is basically painting the underside of the cloud. So I'm going to go on each side here of where the sun's going to be. I'm even actually going to go over that sun. I want it to be a little bit more orange. Uh, and then I'm just going to go across. And then basically what I want to do, I'm going to take a little bit of white, mix that in. And these clouds down below here, I just want to kind of butt up to where the sun is and create that little opening that you see in the sky. So just some really rough brush strokes to start with. So these are these areas here are all going to be kind of the uh, brighter saturated areas in the painting. So I'm going to go a little bit more orange and alizarin over here. And again, we'll, we'll play around with all of the shapes and everything uh, as we go. Again, this is where the sun's going to be. What I want to do is go a little bit more orange and alizarin. So a little bit more saturated. We're going to go just above and below the sun, that slightly more saturated color. And 
Okay, so that's just a good start. I'm gonna clean my brush off now. What I wanna do next is block in, I wanna block in the main cloud up here. So, what I'm gonna use for colors, grab a little bit of raw umber as well. No, I don't need a whole lot of the raw umber but I'll use it to gray down some of my colors here. Uh, so I'm gonna take a little bit of my medium. I'm gonna take some of my cerulean blue and alizarin. Tiny touch of raw umber, a little bit more cerulean blue, and then some white. And I'm going to add some more cerulean blue. So I, th I thinned it down quite a bit here. Now I'll add a little bit more alizarin. A little more white. Okay, and then I'm just gonna come up here. And I'm gonna block in just above. And I'm just gonna block in kind of all the little shapes that I see, uh, the little cloud shapes. Going all the way up off the top. And you can see I'm not going down to The, um, the colored area yet. Just gonna mix up some more of that same color. Sometimes I forget a 10 by 30 canvas is actually pretty big. Uh, so need to mix a little bit more color. So I'm gonna just keep blocking in. I'm gonna go close to the sun area, but not all the way there yet. All right, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in, uh, I'm gonna connect up to that sun area. So I'm gonna go a little bit more alizarin into the mix. I'm gonna add a little bit of that orange. I'm 
And I'm just going to blend that down into that sun area. So remember, keep in mind that we are just setting up um, our background and a lot of the detail will come a little bit later. I'm going to go a little bit more alizarin into that mix and then right here where it connects up to, the, to that sun, I'm going to go a little bit more alizarin. But I'm not going to go too far out of that yet. All right, now I'm gonna go some more alizarin and white. Add a little bit more of that medium. A little bit of orange and some of my radiant yellow. Should get a nice kind of peach, peachy color. I'll go a little bit more white. Then down here, I'm going to add in this color. See a much more kind of purplish pink color. the hill coming down here so we'll kind of just leave that that shape there for the hill that's going to come up later so then over here on this right hand side it gets a little more uh, purple again so I'm going to go back and add in some more blue I'm going to add a little blue to this color a little more alizarin and then some white. And then I'm going to block in underneath this cloud, bring it right close to the sun, and then kind of transition and blending that into that peach color. So over here, could be a little bit darker. Um, for now, that's okay. We'll just call that good. Uh, eventually we're going to be layering over all this like I had mentioned before. So not really too, too worried about um, the fine details yet. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush off. I'm going to take a little bit of my Radiant Lemon. A tiny bit of turquoise. A little bit of alizarin. A little bit more of that turquoise. Then some white. I'll go a little more alizarin. I'm going to block in this opening here. Ok, 
Okay, and then light pressure as we kind of blend it all together. Eventually, we'll be putting more uh, yellow over that area. For now, we just want to know that that's a sky opening, and eventually, like I said, we'll be doing some other layers over that. All right, last but not least, what I want to do is block in this area up here, the open sky, and that's pretty easy. We're going to take some turquoise, some white, and we're going to add some cerulean blue to this as well. Of course, the most expensive color we need to use a bunch of. It's just how painting goes. All right, so a little cerulean blue to kind of blue this down, some more white. Go a little bit more blue. And then, just gonna block in the open sky. little openings popping up here and there and then I'm gonna call that good. I don't want to get too um, stuck to my uh, reference photo. I want to be able to you know play around with it and just kind of use the composition. All right, so I'm gonna wipe my brush off. And next I'm gonna add some ultramarine blue. Grab a little bit of my medium some ultramarine blue, some raw umber, and some alizarin. I'll grab a little bit of white. I think I want to go a little bit more ultramarine blue. And I'll just block in the hill. We'll start off with just this purple color. And I'm not worried again about all of these details yet because this is just our basic block in. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to take that same hill color and incorporate it a little bit into uh, my clouds. So I'm going to take that same color, I'm going to add a little white to it and to help harmonize I'm going to add a little of that radiant turquoise in there. That's a little bit too light, so I'll go a little bit darker with my blue. I 
That's much better. Right here, I'm gonna put a little less pressure on the brush just to allow the this color around the sun to kind of blend in. I want to get a good layer of paint, so I'm just gonna block this in. Get my cloud a little bit darker. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit closer to that orange. Push this up into the sky a little bit. Offs up here. Then I'm going to darken this little line of clouds here. Go a little darker over here and then a little darker over here in that peach area. So we've got a good setup here. Now what I want to do is take a dry brush and blend this all together. Okay, so I've got a dry, soft bristle brush here. And what I want to do is just brush over everything really lightly. So I'm softening all my edges and making sure all of my canvas is covered and also at the same time it kind of blurs out all of these little wispy clouds. So as I'm doing this I'm picking up paint with the brush and what I want to make sure I do is wipe off before I get down into this more orange color. So now down here, getting this all nice and blended. Anytime you want to alter a shape, just put a little more pressure on the brush and then blend it out. Again, the values might get a little messed up, um, which is okay. We just want to have an overall um, basic setup. You can already see this is kind of starting to look more like a sky as everything blends and blurs together. And even we'll even go down over this hill at the bottom and just lightly brush through that. All right, so now I've got my setup. Oh, what I'm gonna do now is switch back to uh, my filbert brush and do another layer, uh, do another blend, and then keep moving on through the painting. All right, so I'm gonna start off by taking a little bit of my lemon, some orange, and some alizarin.
I'm going to go along the bottom portion of this cloud again. Going a little more pink this time. We'll even work some of that up into the cloud. And we'll get a little of that pink over here. And then down below the sun. We're going to start making these clouds a little darker down below. A little bit more pink. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit more alizarin and right around the sun again. I'm going to get that a little more alizarin kind of blended up into the clouds. I'm going to take a little bit of that color and pop it up here into these clouds. Okay, I'm going to clean my brush off now. I'm going to go into my purple. A little bit more alizarin. I'm just going to push this color down a little bit more closer to this pink. Then just kind of, yeah, just kind of bring it up into the cloud a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of that same color and again darken this side a little bit more. Then over here as well. Okay, then I'll go to my blending brush and what I want to do is feather this all together again. So light pressure on the brush, crisscrossing, swirling around a little bit.
All right, while that's kind of sitting and drying a little bit, I'm gonna wipe this brush off. I'm gonna clean my filbert brush off again. Just using odorless mineral spirits to clean off the brush. I'm gonna take some white, a little bit of my turquoise, I'm going to go a little bit more careful now. And we're lightening up the sky. And we'll go a little bit lighter over here as well. But I want a little more turquoise and blue in this side. Okay, and then just like before, I'm going to feather this light, light pressure here. I'm going to go into a little bit of my Radiant Lemon. And in this area here, the opening, I'm going to go a little bit more of that. Especially towards the sun, so a little bit more yellow there. I'm going to add a little white as we move this way. And then feather that together. Okay, I'll call that, that area good for right now. Uh, what I want to do now is start kind of building up the sun a little bit and uh, some darker areas up here in the top part of the cloud. Okay, before I move on too much further, what I want to do is, right now I've got these clouds pretty flat across. I want to kind of angle them down a little bit, uh, similar to the reference photo. I really like that composition. So I'm going to start off with just a little bit of alizarin and this area here where the sun is going to be, 
I want to bring that down a little bit further. I'm going to just kind of blend that across. And I want to have the clouds coming down this way. Then I'll go in a little ultramarine blue, raw umber, and alizarin. I'll take some cerulean blue too. And I'm going to bring the cloud down lower and then bring it up. Okay, I'm going to take that same color now and just darken up along the base. Of this cloud. Then I'm going to go a little bit more blue. So a little more ultramarine blue some cerulean blue. So I've got a lizard and crimson, raw umber, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue. And there's these little parts where the cloud is kind of broken up into sections. So I'm going to go with these darker spots. These are like the shadows underneath. And then kind of just lightly feather it up a little bit. I'm going to add in another kind of line right through here but I'm going to add in um, some blending here in just a few minutes then even up here at the base of some of these clouds a little bit darker So essentially what I've done is put in all of the little shadow elements uh, underneath each little layer of clouds. Now I'm even going to make this part up here a little bit darker, closer to the sky. And we'll darken over here again. I'm going to go a little bit more alizarin. And I want to darken up right up underneath the sun here. Another little line of clouds right here. This peach right here, I don't want to mess with too much. Maybe a couple little subtle, darker areas over there. And then 
This line of clouds can be a little darker. All right, so now blending time. I want to blend that all together. So I like to put a little bit of pressure um, as this dark area meets the area above it. A little pressure there, but light pressure everywhere else. So light pressure, a little bit of harder pressure as you kind of bring the shadow up into the darker area, or the lighter area, I should say. So bringing the darker area up. So as we go up, putting a little more pressure, but then lightly feathering. Light pressure again through this area. All right, so now we're getting somewhere with that. Uh, what I want to do now is start lightening up the values a little bit, especially in the sun and surrounding areas. You want to go slow though. Um, so I'm going to go small round brush. I'm going to take just a tiny bit of my medium into my brush. So I just basically took my cup dipped my brush in, wiped it off, just so I have a little bit of medium in there. I'm going to take some of my yellow, a little white, and orange. I want to have a little more yellow in there. So it's almost like a peach color. And what I'm gonna do is start right here where the sun is and just kind of block in a round shape. And then I'm gonna start pushing the color out. You can see it's quite a bit brighter right through here. the very bottom of the cloud. This cloud up here has that little highlight on it. And it travels out, you know, brightness wise, it travels out to about there. Down here, goes a little bit further along the top of these clouds on the bottom. I'm not, again, not too, too worried about uh, getting all of the little details yet. I'm trying to just get my colors down because I'm going to blend this out again with my big brush. Then I want to go a little more saturated, so a little more orange 
as I go this way along the base of this cloud, and then maybe a little alizarin to really saturate it. I'll go even more alizarin and out here almost like a little sunbeam coming off and I'm going to go more alizarin right here below the sun Okay, I'm going to wipe that brush off. I'm going to go back to a little bit more on the peach side. Do a little bit of that peach above and below the sun. I'm going to push this down a little bit further, this opening, then a little bit more down this way. All right, so I'm going to go a little bit more orange as I work out here along the base of this cloud. I'll go a little bit lighter, so with a little bit more yellow and white. Just throwing in a few little touches of light in between some of these clouds. Just to almost kind of give myself a head start on um, some of the details. A little highlight here. Okay, and now very carefully I'm going to lightly brush this all out so I like to go up and down on the sun because I'm going to start to get that glow so up and down on the sun lighter pressure as we move across still up and down maybe maybe pulling it this way kind of like the sunbeams are are already on the uh, reference photo. Then up and down, really light pressure where the orange and yellow meet, a little bit more pressure there. What we're trying to do is kind of push the color up into the cloud and then bring some of the cloud back down. So that's why I'm doing these kind of up and down brush strokes. It brings the color both ways.
All right, next I'm gonna go back to my filbert. I'm gonna grab some of my white and turquoise. Another round lighter up here. So we're slowly bringing the values up in the bright areas. Right, and then, again with the blending brush, I'm going to wipe it off first. Light pressure. A little bit more pressure in some of these openings just to soften up those clouds a little bit. Alright, while I'm at it with this brush, I'm going to grab some white and some of that orange and yellow. I'm going to highlight the ends of this cloud. Out here, there's a little bit of a highlight up here as well. Okay, wipe our blender brush off and then blend that out. I'm going to clean off my small round brush and I'm going to do another layer in here in that opening. All right, I'm basically going to just take some of my white and teal, a little bit of orange. Now that's a little too bright. Let's grab a little more orange. Some of that teal. I'm going to start kind of away from the sun over here with this color. Work it down, pushing it right up close to the edge. The cloud, the top cloud close to the bottom cloud. Go a little bit more orange. little opening right here as well. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit more orange as I work my way closer to the sun.
and go a little bit more orange coming in from this way as well. Okay, I'll clean that off. Then, blending brush again. I'm gonna pull down and up. So that way I'm blurring the edges uh, of the bottom of the cloud. And then side to side. All right, so kind of a tedious process, but I think a fun process to build all of these layers up. All right, so let's go another round lighter with the sun. So again, I'm gonna go in with my radiant yellow, orange, and white. And I'm gonna create a circular shape for the sun. Nice and bright coming off here. and nice and bright right up underneath this cloud, this top cloud. Okay, and again, I'm going to go more orange and alizarin. This way. I'll go much more alizarin. Orange. right here by the sun. Okay, we'll blend that out. So again, some kind of up and down brush strokes, really light pressure. At this point, I'm gonna just kind of take that sun and kind of just manipulate the shape a little bit to kind of create that beam. Not anything too crazy yet. You can start to see, we're starting to get a little bit of a glow now. I'm 
And I want to take some of that alizarin just up here, just kind of around that beam. I want it to get a little bit more red. Okay, and then just really have to have a light touch here to get that to blend together without smudging. There we go. So now I'll take the middle of the sun, just kind of flip it up, go to the side. Okay, and that will be a, a couple layers working on that. I'll go back to that sun color. Some yellow, some white, and some orange. Same thing. One thing I want to do, take a little bit brighter orange and just above the sun before it gets into that alizarin. I'm going to go some brighter orange and we'll kind of carry that along the edge. Okay, and then feather that together really lightly. Okay, so you can see slow build up, uh, but it's starting to glow already even before we have any really bright values. What I'm gonna do is let that sit um, for a good 20 minutes and then I'll come back to uh, adding in some more. In the meantime, I am gonna open up the clouds a little bit uh, right here because I like that opening. So I'm gonna go a little bit with my teal and white Just right here. We're going to open up the clouds right there. And then, light pressure here to get that to look natural. Eventually, we're going to add yellow into that. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to take just some white and I really want to start bringing the value up here. I'm using the smaller brush now so I can get into some of these openings. So the white is just basically mixing on the canvas. Then I'll feather that out. All right, so I'm gonna let that sit, uh, like I was mentioning before. This whole area I wanna let sit. I'll go into my teal and small brush
And I'll just add in some little openings here. Also another little opening here, which is kind of nice. Doesn't have to be exactly the same as the reference photo, but. Just altering the shape of the cloud a little bit. And then feather it out. Light pressure, crisscross, up and down, side to side. Now I'm going to clean that brush off. I'm going to go into some of my orange, teal, and white. Don't want to go too, too light, but we want to go a little bit lighter than what we have in that opening right now. Okay, and then I'm going to pull it this way to blend with the colors that are over here, then up and down, then side to side again. All right, so I'm going to let that sit for a minute, take a little break, um, and then we'll do a second round of layers. All right, I'm gonna go into my lemon yellow and some white. We're gonna get quite a bit brighter now. Alright, so what I want to do is start working that brightness out this way. I want to have a nice bright spot right up under this part of the cloud. And again, you don't have to go exactly like the reference photo, so if you want to extend that brightness, start adding a little bit more yellow to it the further away you get from the sun. But you can bring that brightness out, that really nice bright highlight under the cloud a little bit further. So as I move out this way, going a little bit more yellow. And down along the bottom here, what we have are these little kind of highlighted clouds 
creeping out. So as I get further down this way and more to the left, I'm going to start adding in orange. So even down, what I want to do is underneath these bigger kind of um, purplish clouds, I'm going to go underneath with that orange color. Just define that cloud a little bit. So the further away I get, the more orange I'm adding. So as I connect back up this way, I go in a little bit more yellow and white. So again, this way, a little bit more orange. I'm actually going to start adding some alizarin to that as well. So we get what we get over here is a more kind of saturated orange. Then all the way over here, much more alizarin. I'm actually going to work a little bit of that alizarin up into the cloud. On this piece down here, top of the cloud is highlighted. And then down here as well, these openings. Now I'm just going to kind of randomly create little Highlights here and there. OK, 
Okay, I'll go a little bit more alizarin just above that highlight. Okay, I'm going to grab some orange and alizarin. and darken up the orange right here. Go even more alizarin right above that orange. Just a little bit down here. All right, so now I'm just going to take a fan brush and pull that white up and down just a little bit. And then I'll take my blender. So I'm going to start over here. Had a little bristle in there. If you ever have a bristle that kind of comes in and puts a little line somewhere, if you just put some pressure on your brush, you can eliminate any of those little accidents. So just light pressure in through here. Okay, so I'm gonna take the corner of the brush and kind of pull up, down, and back and forth. Clean that brush off. I'm going to go into my yellow and white. I want to get this to be a little more yellow. So again, creating that little sun shape. And then that really bright spot coming out to the right. Really Bright spot coming out to the left as well. We'll carry that brightness along the edge just a little bit. Okay, and then just gonna lightly blend. Really light touch this time. I'm gonna pull that right hand side out a little further. Okay, let's go in with some orange, a little bit of alizarin. And add a little bit of that orange there. 
and I'm going to pull down and away from the sun. It's almost getting these little beams. Do the same here, a little bit right there. I'm going to pull this down, light pressure. And this one kind of going to the left angle. I'm going to go more alizarin. Right in through here, and then a little bit of that over here. And I want to try to pull this lighter color into that alizarin. And then just feather that into the purple. So I want to build that brightness up again. I'll clean my brush off. I'm going to go back into my white and yellow. Build up my sun shape again. Get that beam going again. Just light, light pressure there. And then blend it out. Okay, I'm going to go into some more yellow. Out here. I want to start to get a little bit more yellow. And blend it out. And go a little bit more orange.
Okay, I'm going to go into my white and yellow. Brighten that up again. Really light pressure that time, just a little slight, quick blend out. So I'm going to extend my yellow highlight along the bottom here. Again, adding a little more orange the further away I get. Okay, now I'm going to pop up a little bit of my yellow up in here. I'm just going to feather that really light. Then I'll take a little bit of that kind of peachy color. I'm going to feather these clouds with a highlight on the end. Then little quick brush strokes to feather that together. All right, I'm going to go right into some of my white. And in the middle of my sun, I'm going to go brighter. Again, a little bit coming out that way. Okay, so we're getting quite bright now. I'm going to fade that out. Pull the beams up a little bit more. Up and down. Side to side. Go back in with our white.
Fade it out. Go in again with the white. Light little fade out. And what I'm gonna do now is, I think I'm gonna let a lot of that dry. I am gonna go back in with some of my white and just really hit this close to the sun area. So a little bit brighter. All right, so at this point, um, I basically, I put my reference photo away. Um, I don't wanna be too stuck with the reference photo. So what I'm gonna do now is just kind of play around um, with a couple different things and uh, do some finishing touches. Uh, these types of paintings can easily be overpainted. Um, if you, you know, kind of overthink the details, what we really wanna do is kind of just keep it loose. So it's going to actually look more realistic if it's looser. First thing I'm going to do is just take a little bit of my my white and I'm going to come up here and go a little bit lighter and maybe just kind of play around with the shape of this cloud a little bit. But I still want there to be a gradient, so it's lighter down here by the um, top of this focal cloud, but it gets a little bit more blue up there towards the top. Okay, then I'm gonna go into my white and my round brush. And I'm gonna come into the center of the sun. And tr just try to get that as white as possible. Right in the middle. I'll even take some of that white and just just come out to the sides a little bit. Still trying to do a nice little circular shape. Okay, then I'll take a little bit of my yellow. I'm 
And I just want to push the yellow out a little bit further. Kind of, so I'm just kind of going right on the very end or bottom of the cloud. I'm going to go a little bit more of my radiant lemon. So a little bit more saturation there as I work my way out along the bottom of the cloud. And then just kind of feather, make that bottom portion nice and soft. A little more yellow. So going just below that orange. I'm going to add a little orange to that now. And over here, just going to tap in almost like little contours at the top of this cloud. So the sun's peeking out over here and highlighting little bits of the cloud. I'm going to do the same down here as well, just a little, almost just barely tapping along the top edge. Create a little sense, a little sense of light. We can go a little bit more yellow down over here. Add a little alizarin to that. A little white. Trying to get a little bit more of that peachy color. All right, so I'm going to take a little bit of my medium and my fan brush and I'm just going to do some vertical brush strokes. I want to darken up my hill a little bit and give it a little bit of texture. I want it to kind of fade a little bit as we get closer to the sun and kind of allow the brush strokes to separate a little bit. So. Uh, pressing lighter on the brush as I move backwards towards the horizon and that will create a little bit more depth and texture so more pressure up here in the front and less pressure as I'm going back
less pressure up here. That way I'm allowing the bristles of the brush to create an uneven edge on the top to help it look like trees. Okay, and then I'll continue down to the left. All right, so almost there to the end. Again, keeping the same method, a little bit more pressure here up in the front, and then tapping and less pressure as I go up towards the top of the hill to create a little bit of separation in the brush stroke and some jagged edges at the top. Okay, I'm going to continue on a little bit of that orange. I just want to saturate the bottom edge of the cloud a little bit more um, over here on the left hand side. So a little bit of that cad orange. Then maybe a little bit of that hill color with some alizarin. Just going to darken the bottom edge of the cloud, just putting a little brush stroke in. And then Take my blending brush just kind of feather that out
I'm gonna go in with my cerulean blue into that mix. And I'm gonna darken, I'm gonna go a little bit more gray, so a little more raw umber. I'll grab a little bit of white. I just wanna darken some of the shadow areas. So there's little layers going up. a couple little darker touches over here. that all together. So really light pressure on the brush. Just feathering all the brush strokes out. Then I'm going to go back to my white, a little bit of my radiant lemon. Just continue along the edge, adding that highlight.
All right, last thing I want to do here is I want to take some of that peach color that we created earlier, a little bit of white. I want to highlight these clouds out. They're up high here, but they're catching just a little bit of the light from that sunset. A little bit over here too. I'll go a little bit lighter. I'll just go in with my sky color. Just kind of pop in some more openings. Then with a dry brush, just going to lightly feather out the brush strokes, 